In this tutorial, I will show you how to install ROS to Humble on a Raspberry Pi board with Ubuntu server already installed. So the first step is to connect to your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to use SSH to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And you will need, of course, to know the IP address. So 168.192. 76 that's where the raspberry pi is for me in the network all right let's be clear so i'm connected to my raspberry pi if you don't know how to install ubuntu server on the raspberry pi and get access with ssh well i have made another video just on that so check out the link in the description all right so now i am connected to my raspberry pi make sure you also update the packages okay with sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrades sudo apt update okay and then sudo apt upgrade if needed here nothing to do so my ubuntu server is up to date now you can open well here i've opened a web browser and you can just search for rust to humble and you will select the documentation for rust to humble here and make sure that in the URL, so you have docs.ros.org, make sure that you have Humble. If not, on the bottom left here, you can choose Humble. So now I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And in this documentation, you're gonna click on installation. And we're going to choose binary packages with Debian packages. Okay, you can see here Ubuntu Debian. And I'm gonna show you well, the commands that you have to run, because not everything you have to run, and also what packages to install here. So the first thing to check is the locale. So let's check locale, and you see UTF-8. If you don't have UTF-8 here, you will need to run. So let's run it anyway here. So let's copy this here in the terminal. Okay, and that one great let's copy the third command and let's copy the last one so copy and then i can also right click here paste and locale okay locale is good then let's clear again and we're gonna set up the sources so to set up the sources well here you have a few more instructions that maybe are going to be removed in the future. I can't really know for sure, but let's first run that one. If you see it, if you don't see it, let's just keep and go to directly that line. Okay, so let's first run that one. And here you can see, well, I have 500. Here I can see the 500 with universe. Okay, so I can see 500 universe. Uh, version is 22.04 I can see jammy updates so what well, um, everything is good so if you don't have this you will need to run those two comments but I'm not gonna do that and then well this is where we are gonna actually set up the sources so you can copy uh, this command so gonna install curl and a few other things great and then let's Copy that one. And let's add the repository to the sources list. Okay, and now the sources are good. So let's clear again. Now we can install ROS2 packages, but just before that, let's do a sudo apt update. And you can see now that, so before we had ubuntu.com, okay, we had sources from ubuntu.com. Now we also have sources from packages.ros.org, okay, with ROS2 here. Okay, that's very important. If you see that, it means you have correctly set up the sources. And let's do a sudo apt upgrade just in case. Okay, that's very important here. Make sure that you have everything upgraded. Okay, and now, Let's clear. We can install ROS2. And what are we going to install? Here we have the choice. We have apt install, so ROS Humble Desktop, and we have ROS Humble ROS Base. 
So the ROS base contains well the bones of ROS. So the communication libraries, message packages, command line, everything, but no graphical tools. Okay, no uh, 2D or 3D simulation tools and stuff like that. The desktop contains all of the graphical tools and more demos, more tutorials. Well, basically a lot more stuff. But what we need and what we're gonna do here is to install the ROS base. Because, well, anyway, we are on Ubuntu server, so we don't have a desktop, so we don't need the 2D and 3D visualization tools. And also the Raspberry Pi is, well, even if the latest Raspberry Pi versions are quite powerful, it's still less powerful than a laptop. So less powerful than the laptop I'm running right now. And so what I will install here is the ROS base. Okay, just the minimum to be able to run ROS2. And then from there, I will add more packages, but I will start with a more minimal installation. So let's copy this and let's install ROS base. So you will see still a lot of packages. Okay, so you can see we need to download about 100 megabytes of archive and 400 megabytes will be added in the disk. So let's put Y for yes and enter and let's install ROS2. So here, of course, wait a few minutes. Okay, great. And now ROS2 is installed, but you will need to do something else in order to be able to use it. Because if I just do, for example, ROS2, you can see ROS2 command not found. So we just installed ROS2, but ROS2 is not found. So what's happening here is simply that you need to source the setup script of your uh, global ROS2 installation. So let's do clear. If you go to slash opt ROS and humble here, you will have, so this is where ROS2 is installed actually. You have a setup.bash script that's a script you need to source using the source command here. You need to source the script in order to be able to use ROS2. So if I source this one, so let's do it. Source opt um, ROS humble setup.bash. So now ROS2 is installed and ROS2 is sourced. And if I do ROS2, now you will see that well, I have the usage for ROS2, which means that the command ROS2 has been found. Okay, now the next step is how to use it, but that's for another tutorial. Here, well, we have correctly uh, sourced this script so that we can use ROS2 in that environment. And well, the thing is if you, so if I do, for example, here, exit, okay, and I'm connecting back to the Raspberry Pi, so that's a different session. I'm going to do ROS2 and you can see ROS2 command not found. Okay, so I need to execute this line again in order to use ROS2. So that will not be super convenient. So what I will do is to simply put that at the end of my bash rc file. And the bash rc file is simply a file that's going to be executed as soon as you start a new session on Linux. So let's do echo and let's put this this command here, so echo with double quotes, the command, and then space, and then I'm going to use angle brackets, actually two angle brackets here, so it's, it's a bit bigger, two angle brackets, make sure you use two and not just one, and so two, and then bash rc, so tilde for home repository slash dot bash rc. So now if I do, let's say, cat.bashrc here in my home repository, uh, you will see at the end I have this line. So I have a bunch of stuff. And then I have this line, which is going to be executed when I start a new terminal. Or if I do, for example, source.bashrc. Okay, now I can do ROS2. And you can see it's working. If I do exit and I connect again. So let's connect back. Okay, and let's do ROS2. Now you can see ROS2 is working. Okay, I have the usage for the command ROS2. So ROS2 is correctly installed and correctly configured. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right, thank you for watching. 
See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.